Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about tree or graph traversal. So before we dive into any of our graph problems, uh, we probably can guess that in order to solve any one of them, we'll probably have to visit each and every one of the vertices in the graph um, at least one day, if not multiple, multiple times. So we're going to be doing a lot of graph traversals. So it um, pays to kind of think about uh, uh, the traversals in a little more detail. And specifically, there are two types of traversal. One is called breadth first search, or traversal is called also referred to search. That's why it's typically, you know, BFS is known as breadth first search. And then there, the other type of traversal or search is called depth first search. And uh, we can definitely do this on a graph, but it's easier probably to see it on a tree. So we'll do it with a tree. Okay, so what a breadth first search does is that it starts at the root. So I have a tree here, sort of balanced, that we start at the root, number three, and then we visit the first, uh, the nodes that is one level away from the tree, so one and seven. And then we visit all the nodes that are two levels away from the root, and then three levels away, and so on and so forth. Right? So effectively what we're doing is we start with the root and then we visit all the, all the nodes that is closest to the root first and then kind of fan out from there, level by level by level. Okay, so that is what's called a breadth first search. And then for depth first search is kind of doing the opposite of breadth first search is that it will, it will go down and then it will actually traverse as far as possible before uh, down the tree before it goes back up. So starting at three, it will go visit one and then it'll keep going you know, rather than going to the sibling. It'll keep going to the children until you know there's no more child. So it'll go to zero. And then once it reach the end, it will go back up and then visit the other child. And then it'll go back up and then visit this root's other child. And then when it comes here, it will go down, go down, go down on. The left, backtrack, and then backtrack, and then finally go down on the on the right. So that's called a depth first search. So we've done tree traversals before, and specifically for binary search tree, uh, we use recursion and uh, in the um, dunder iter method. Now, uh, when but when we talk about um, kind of a breadth first search or, or depth first search. We usually want to do it without recursion, right? So um, before we implement it, maybe you at least uh, pause the video and think about how to do it, if not actually do it. So it's probably not exactly straightforward, right? Because uh, once you visit one node, um, then we have two more nodes to visit. And then once we visit those two nodes, then we have four more nodes to visit, right? Uh, so a very simplicity, simplistic uh, while loop might not do the trick. So what we actually need is a way to queue up all the nodes that we uh, will have to visit. And that kind of um, clues into the implementation. Uh, now I actually for this demonstration, um, we uh, will actually implement it in the uh, AVL tree because well, it's a balanced tree. It just it, balanced tree makes for a better demo. So anyway, I type it up here. Um, so the idea, like I said, is that we'll have a we'll have a list of of uh, nodes that we want to traverse to or to be processed or whatever you call it, right? And we will bootstrap it for, with well, what else? The root node, right? We always start traversal from the root. So we'll put the root in that queue or in that list. I said queue because we are going to use it as a queue. So we'll put, put, put the root node in the queue. And then as long as there's something in that queue, we keep looping. And then uh, what we do inside it, each of the iteration is that um, we will get something from the queue. And in this case, we just pop it up, pop it from the front of the queue. All right. And for the, again, for um, demo purpose, I'm just going to print out the node. I'm not going to do anything else. Okay, and then if there's a left child, then I put the left child uh, at the end of that queue. And if there's the right child, and we'll put that child in 
again at the end of the queue and then we'll just keep looping and that's how we'll do a BFS so again I want to emphasize we're using this list as a queue we insert at the end and we uh, remove from the front okay so does this work well so uh, I actually uh, create a tree of just 10 numbers from 0 to 9 uh, I'm going to print out the original tree and then we're going to do a BFS and let's see what it comes out with okay um, so this tree remember the way we look at this is we sideway this is the left uh, side of the tree this is the right side so this is a balanced tree and we, if we do a breadth first search it's we should do three and then one seven zero two five eight and four six nine right and you look at this this is exactly how it turns out and that's the results in the slides so the next thing is well how do we do a depth first search without using recursion and um, given now that you know how to do a breadth first search you might want to think about how you do a depth first search and I'll give you a hint it's it's a very tiny little change to the breadth first search so as it turns out the tiny little change is that instead of using the list as a queue we'll use it as a stack so pop uh, will pop from from the end of the list so remember we we still insert at the end but now we pop from the end so that's again using it as a stack and if I demonstrate this um, yeah this is BFS I already changed it so if you run this then um, uh, you look at this in okay so yeah well this in this depth first search we visit the nodes on the right first instead of on the left could have switched these two but anyway so we go down on the left first as far as we can three seven eight nine and then backtrack up to here five and then again six four and then backtrack to one two and then zero that's when we're done so um yep that's that's that that's the depth first search now that I've shown you how to do it um, if it's if you get it it's great but if you if you if you don't immediately see how changing from a queue to a stack can change the traversal from a breadth first search to a depth first search then I I want to advise I want I would advise you to try to trace through how these two functions work you know draw out the pictures draw out what's in the queue all the stack each step of the way and convince yourself that this is indeed the case that um, with the queue we can do a breadth first search and then with a stack we can do a depth first search so now that I've shown you how to do tree traversal um, again we're going to be studying graphs so we're going to be doing graph traversal which is similar to tree traversal but also differ in some very important ways so for tree traversal, or tra tree traversal we always start at the root right uh, and there's no cycle in the tree which makes it simpler however for graph traversal there's no a single root to, so we can start at any vertex and also because the edges may have directions so and so uh, so we have to follow the direction right so for example going from this node or vertex we can go to this vertex but we cannot go from this vertex back here because there's no edge going that way and then finally there may be cycles in the in the graphs so for example in this particular graph if we naively using the tree um, traversal code that we wrote we'll just keep going forever because we don't we just don't know when to stop right so um, in a graph then the way to deal with it is maybe as we traverse through each of the vertices um, we might mark them as visited so once when we run into a a, a um, vertex that we've already visited then we don't um, keep going 